I don't know guys, is this life really some kind of death? Is this life some kind of death? I'm not saying that this is hell or something. We'll keep exploring that concept though. Oh geez, a storm's coming in, eh? I better be quick. Uruguay has serious weather bombs. The weather just changes like real quick, eh? I'm from Australia, so there's a lot more open plains. Often you see the storms manifesting a little bit longer. Anyway, is this life some kind of death? I don't know, it just popped in my head. These are not your thoughts. These are the thoughts of the Gaian Matrix because you are an Earth child. Like you pop out little kids, some of you women, you need to realize that you are a child of Earth. You've come from the mineral body of the Earth. Yes, because your mum did as well and their mum and it goes all the way back <laughs> to the single cell organism. Those of you who have traveled the long path of the single celled organism to the multiplicity, multiplicity state that we're in now and co-creators in light bodies, light bodies in co-creation. <sighs> yeah, all that sort of talk makes you come more alive. But today I want to take a, a different turn and I'm not trying to kill anyone. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill any philosophy. I simply entertain ideas. I let them play in my mind for a while, you know. I go over them a few times at least. I try to think again over it and, and you know, see what happens if something spontaneously comes through it, a higher thought comes through a lower thought. First crack consciousness, the Christ light body. Anyway, let's get back to what my train of thought just before. No, it just came to me. Uh, is this some kind of death? That might seem really weird at first. What are you talking about now? <sighs> the dilemmas of a philosopher, huh? Well, the thing is, that thought came to me, you know, while I was, you know, doing not much. I was just sitting there for a second. So it came to me in the meat of the moment. It was not from some book I read, not from some indoctrination class in some educationary system. It happened spontaneously in the meat, in the meat of the moment in my experience, you know, no one told me anything, I wasn't thinking about anything anyone said before it, I was actually thinking about my laptop and why it isn't back yet and I'm going to make a complaint to Toshiba and all this, and then it just popped in my head, why is there these endless, endless fiascos here and gang stalking, all this business with demons and organic portals? It was the weirdest thought, you know, but these are the, the thoughts that I really enjoy. They're the only thoughts that seem to keep me maybe going. So maybe I'm completely wrong and this is just some way to enter another thought. But it just came to me and I thought, is this life the real death? Well, because all of us souls... <clears throat> You know, that how everyone is saying, oh, we're soul humans, and, and so on. Well, we seem to be more infinite, more timeless, do we not? Take a look at all of your soul friends compared to all of the, let's say, less spirited people, NPCs, organic portals, human prison bar people, so on and so forth. Right, those other people, the outdigos. Take a look at your indigo 
you know, sold, self-spirited friends compared to those out-to-go people, sometimes you can really see a stark difference, you know, really stark, really stark difference. So it's the contrast is, you know, complete opposite or something spectrum of the same spectrum, you know. And we call this place Organic Portal Realm, Organic Portal Universe and so on. I can't really disagree with that because there's, there's nothing to bring in and say, oh no, that's wrong because of this. Tell me, comment below if you can disagree with that, those sort of words, that this is an organic portal realm or universe. Because we are organic matter, right? And we do portal energies. And so, yeah, I realize the human prison bar sort of, uh, I don't want to say upgrade of uh, nomenclature, almost, kind of, kind of is. But um, it also, you know, if you use that without using the word organic portal, then you have a different thing altogether. So it's not necessarily just an upgrade. It's only an upgrade... HPB if you already understand the base organic portal theory, so you know. It's interesting. Organic portal universe, you know. Well then when we consider that, and we consider that, you know, we call them the walking dead people, and you know that they're dead people and so on. We call them zombie people, the walking dead, because they're unconscious and we think consciousness is life. And, you know, we associate life force energy with more consciousness and movement. You know, things like chi, chi life force energy give us a lot of insight into what I just said. So then when you consider, you know, well, this is organic portal realm. And we call them dead people. I think... You know, this all happened in the in the flick of a switch in my mind just before. You know, it's what I call an epiphany is an epoch creode uh, solution or thought culmination amalgamation, where you get an epiphany, which seems to me to bring together, you know, meaning and words obviously as well. But see, I didn't think anything. It just sort of went like that really quickly, you know, came together really quickly into an epiphany or self-realization and so on, people call it. But basically, I wasn't even thinking much before that. It was it's just like, hey, is this life some kind of death? And the only other thought I can remember having just before, this only happened, you know, 10 minutes before this, uh, I started talking. The only other thought I thought was, you know, well, hey, we call the organic portals dead people. So is this life some kind of death? It's, it's mad interesting, bro. Hey, <laughs> it's mad interesting. Yeah. Is it some kind of death? Well, when you look at, well, let's inspect that because I haven't inspected that. Let's. I thought I'll do that on camera with you guys. You know, this is philosopher's stone tube. I'm not stoned at the moment, but I still like philosophy. It's interesting. Let's inspect that. So, what we have is the idea that is this life some kind of death? And if we look at the moment of now, now we, let's not take into consideration anything anyone has said before. But you're continually in, in the next moment, each consecutive moment, dying more. And, you know, shamans, which I am a shaman, and hence this seems very relative to me, shamans, you know, always have some kind of weird association with death, I've noticed. I don't know if anyone has ever said this or noticed it, but I have. It's not like they always talk about it or anything. It's the way that the shaman goes about their life. I think that Don Juan from Carlos Castaneda readings really, um, he, he was one shaman that sort of did, you know, note this. And he said, you know, we have no time at all. The difference between me and you normal people is 
that you think you have all the time in the world and I think I have no time at all, is what he said. And I thought, yeah, that's a very interesting thought. And then furthermore, you know, death should shape you. The, the realization you're going to be, you know, not even in this body, alive, uh, one day, and that you're going to be dead, you know, is very interesting. That that should shape your life. Well, why? Because, well, if you see that it's coming, you know, that's the point. The shaman sees the end. That's why I think there's always a, an association with death um, with any proper shaman. With any proper shaman, yeah? So, like, that that lady who has the video against me who says, oh, my shaman says he's not a shaman, Ben's not a shaman, because my shaman says he's not a shaman. What a joke. <laughs> Shit. She ain't no shaman. She's not showering anything. She's not ushering in anything. She's not leading anything. So she's not a shaman, Yona Curtis. You heard me. The shaman shars, ushers, moves the era, moves the ontos, leads to the next world, like I'm doing now, into the next universe 2.0, yeah? From reaction, pre-2012, universe one of unconscious reaction to co-creation and cre from light bodies from undifferentiated dark matter to light bodies in co-creation from reaction to creation it's a whole different universe even see i go above and beyond the age of aquarius and procession of equinoxes they're small cycles that's still a small cycle in reference to the entire universe so why not talk about the entire universe? Why are we just talking about one little cycle? You know, that's just getting you into a new box, isn't it? Or a new cage, or new age, new cage. Yes, a new cage. They're, they're the fake new ages, the people who just focus on the new age. This is a really good point to bring up just quickly. The ones who focus just on the age of Aquarius energy, they're in the new box. Yeah, that's why I just explained what I explained. There's larger cycles than age of Aquarius and procession of equinoxes. Do you understand? So if you don't understand beyond age of Aquarius, then you're just in a new cage. You see that? Anyway, so that's why I like to take these big philosophies on under my belt. <laughs> It's burdensome. It's like carrying a big belly. Because <laughs> worries are weights. You know, when you worry, it's a weight. Feel it. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a weight. It's a weight on your mind. You'll feel the energy. Worries are weights. <sighs> but, you know, we, we work out with weights, right? So, same thing with worries on your mind, you can work out with them and get your mind stronger. You know, so it's not just negative. But then there's the person who just, you know, has worries and worries and worries and doesn't, like, get the crack through to a higher plane of realization or an epiphany from the worry. And that's a problem because then you get actual a weight on your body and it culminates in actual fat on the body and everything from emotional eating and so on. Anyway, back to the storyline. <laughs> hey, tangent. <laughs> Press like if you like me tangenting. Press like on this video if you like the tangents. Oh, it's extra bonus footage. So I don't know. Is this life some kind of death? Think about it. Because that's why I wanted to do the video. I thought, well, while I'm thinking about it, I may as well make a YouTube video. This is maximum f efficiency of my time, right? I could be thinking this by myself, but I thought, all right, you've got a YouTube channel, you philosopher, you may as well switch on the camera. Anyway, so, you know, uh, moment to moment we're dying more, and, you know, I'm of the opinion at this point in my life, and I'm like 30, that um, I've, I've come from some sort of higher plane, and it might sound, oh, special Ben, oh, here we go. He's better than us. And I get all that. I get it. 
But consider if you're looking up and thinking that I'm looking down on you, perhaps that you are looking up. Consider that too. Well, it's to be considered. It's a, a viewpoint. Anyway, um, you know, you know, moment to moment we're dying, and, and I do feel, I just feel it that um, I operate differently on a fifth dimensional template and so on. If you watched, you know, the Goldring game of uh, abundance and enlightenment by Riser, you should be very up to speed on this, uh, like talking like this, you know, and it shouldn't be arrogant. You should just probably, you're probably like me and you feel the same, you know, you just, you just feel, you're, you're not from what I see as dead matter, because does not spirit enliven matter? So then what is all this matter? It's dead. There is in some way, in some way, shape or form, it's somehow dead. Because I, I, you know, I made a video called Organic Portals Dead Matter, and that's what I'm relating to now, that spirit enlivens matter was really the ultimate conclusion of that lecture, organic portals, dead matter. But, you know, today I'm, I'm thinking more along the lines of moment to moment, you come towards physical body termination, you know, termination point. Bye, you ne you're never going to see Ben again. Never going to see me again. Yeah. There's going to come a point where you're never going to see me again. You're not going to be able to email me. You won't even be able to donate. <laughs> so donate now. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I won't get lost in that emotion. But it is correct to feel. Just don't get stuck like a fly on the surface of, you know, flypaper. <laughs> on the surface of reality. On the surface of reality, and I've called it a surface virus, the organic portals, Agent Smith, you know, illusion of similarity, unconscious nature. That everyone has to be the same and they don't even think for themselves, all that stuff. I've said that's a surface virus. But surface, and you know, correlating that with dead matter as ma and I've made other videos, you know, on Earth, on the elements. Remember that elements video? Hmm, it's very interesting. From ether to dead earth. Well, earth is all the dead plants, all the dead matter piles up and you get dirt, or earth, or dead matter. And then immediately it starts alive again. Yeah, but in some way, in some shape or form, in some way it's dead at some point. It must be. Okay? It's not just a, a circle of life. No, it is a type of brainwashing. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm simply exploring. But if you consider that every moment, you know, your body is dying, from when you come here, out of the womb of your mother, the first breath you take of positive charge, detrimental positive charge atmosphere. I'm always talking about grounding, negative charge, and life force. You know, and this positive charge is immediately in your first breath, you're dying. People keep, I don't know, people have just given me these little messages and stuff, comments, emails, messages, about this being, you know, some dark realm, Lucifer, you know, the darkness entity is all powerful, all that business. But, um, you know, I'm not really trying to go there, I'm just trying to keep a very neutral philosophy and very basic that, you know, moment to moment, we, we are dying. We are in a death state, moment to moment. You're not becoming more alive here. You're dying here, but we all know that spiritually, all evolution, physical or spiritual, all evolution becomes spiritual, and all evolution is only spiritual. If you have a material... Uh, experience, it will give you a spiritual evolution, or not. 
But in the end, all evolution is only spiritual. All progress is only spiritual. You don't. You should not be seeing your progress in what we call life, which I'm starting to call death now in this video, right? It's the whole point of this video. Your whole progress in life or death <laughs> is, uh, you know, is not not like your ultimate progress, right? That's what I'm trying to say. It's very interesting, very interesting. So, I'm not trying to reach any conclusions, I'm just simply philosophizing because that's what I do on my channel. Sorry if it's bored you, I thought this is very interesting because moment to moment we are indeed dying. I mean... There's no other way to put it. You're not you're not living more. It's said that you find life in the one, right? And once you are found and saved, you know, in God or whatever, the light, you know, which is the numinous upper timeless infinite dimensional numinous light, not this physical phenomenous photonic electronic lower density light. Um, once you're found in that higher light, that you're you know you you never die again. And it's said that, you know, you, be, you go off to become an immaterial being and maybe that's what all these spirits are or maybe some of them are that, right? And what do all shamans talk about? All of them talk about ancestors. Isn't that all connecting for you right now? So what is this place, this third dimension? In some way, it's piled up death. I already went over that. The earth element is piled up death. It erodes from water, you know, ether is the highest element and all that. So anyway, I'm Benjamin Kaumberg and my space is running out for this talk, so I have to stop. Uh, please like the video because it helps it reach more people. That's why, not because, oh, Ben gets his dopamine hit, hit from a few likes. Not really. I just want it to reach more people because I am actually trying to help or change the world as naive as that may 